nice low kick there. And that seemed to bother O'Matson. You see some bruising on O'Matson's left calf where Hubbard has had some success with those techniques. But I, I just want to see him get loose here, get wild. He's not as worried about O'Matson's stand-up as he is his ground game. Open up. Well, all those takedowns are making him pause, right? Yes. He's not confident to just let everything go because he's fears getting taken down again because he has to work so hard to get back to his feet. Understood, but he's got to recognize the only way he's going to win this fight is right here. Pretty good knee there or so yeah. here yeah. for Hubbard. All right, well, Marco Madsen's wrestling has been the story through two rounds. Final five minutes coming up. Good job, guys. Last round coming up. Last round coming up. It's time to turn the goddamn gas on. Breathe. Breathe. Bring the heart rate down. You're a better fucking striker than this motherfucker. I need you to pick. You need to go first. You need to end your combinations with a low fight stand ready to ready to defend. It's a choice. Knees, uppercuts. It's a choice. He's just laying on you. He's trying to pull all the I gas tank out. Man, so, okay. Hey, hey, breathe. Listen to me. You need to make a choice right now. The choice is pull the trigger. The choice is be first. The, the, you can knock this guy out. The choice is empty your gas tank in this round, right? Please, empty your gas tank in this round. Let's go, brother. Yep. Push. Push your conditioning. Stay low. Just pull the trigger. Knees. Just pull the trigger. Mm. Last round. Last round. All right, round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. And Joe, a lot of our viewers aren't privy to it, but I really liked what Vinny Lopez Jr. and Cody Donovan had to say to Austin Hubbard there. Yeah, they basically mirrored our statements, but with a lot more potty language. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're saying you got to empty that tank, baby. you got to go for it. And Curtis Blaze was saying, hey, oh, he's going for it. He is going for it. Oh, he's going for it even on the ground. That's what they want. They want him to go for a knockout. They know he's down by two points, excuse me, two rounds, clearly, and he keeps getting out-wrestled by, you know, no doubt, uh, silver medalist in the Olympics. He's got to do something wild on the feet, and he gave it a chance. What I like is that he's been able to get back up to his feet. He'll get another he chance. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and do it again. Every time he's up, he has to just let it go. Yes. That's what you want to see as a coach, though, right? Exactly what you tell your fighter. He goes out there and tries to implement it. Good job by Austin Hubbard, heeding the advice of his corner. And O'Madson looking a little slower yeah. here. You mentioned it earlier, that lead leg of Marco Madsen is compromised. So yeah, it's he's getting chewed up. It's getting chewed up. Oh! oh, he hurt him. He hurt him. He's got to let go of that arm. Yes. He's got to ah, let go. He he's got to let go. There. He's got to let go of that left arm and pummel under. Try to dig it yes, under. Yes, dig it under. The space. He's, he's trying for it. But goddamn that grip of O'Madson. <laughs> that dude's a chimpanzee. He got crazy grip. But look at that, man. At space, Hubbard had success. Yeah, there it goes. He hurt O'Madson bad. Now he's doing the right thing. Skate along the side of the octagon, circle back to the center. Get away from the grip of O'Madson. Oh, oh O'Madson with a good right hand there. And O'Madson's now starting to feel something he's never felt before, right? He's never been here. A third oh. round. Takes yes. another knee. Fatigue with time. 317 is plenty of time to work. And good movement there by Hubbard. Oh. Uppercut by Hubbard. Looking for that knee. He's looking for that big knee. And look at the difference in the striking. It's almost the complete opposite as the wrestling has been for O'Matson yes. to this point. Hubbard is much better striker than Mark O'Matson, as you would expect. O'Matson's hiding that le le left leg now. He doesn't like it. Shovel uppercut from Austin Thud Hubbard. Still plenty of time with which to work for Hubbard. Oh, nasty left hand to the body by Hubbard. Hubbard is winning this round. And Mark took it, but he, he's not liking it. He keeps seeing him switching those stances. He's getting that left leg chewed up every time Hubbard lands those kicks. You know what's, you know what's real key here? Madsen is going backwards now. Yes. He's not the one pressing. He's evading. He's trying to stay away from Austin Hubbard. And Hubbard's looking to set a trap for a knee. Beautiful low kick. Hard low kick. 
by Hubbard. Let's see if he can defend here because if he can, that's a oh, big deal. Yes, that's a big, if he can stay up on his feet here, that will really be discouraging for Matson. Yeah, his, his corner is very adamant. They want him to get back up. Matson dragged him down to the ground, though. But not, and, and Matson's doing a good job of collecting that wrist. Now he can start to secure Austin Hubbard a little bit. Hubbard's got to roll it. His knees. He's just got to roll that wrist out. If you look, there it is. See, you roll the wrist, and it'll be free. Now he can start working back to his feet. Hubbard trying to post. Matson briefly put the foot on that post hand. Just over the side by Matson. But Hubbard's got to break free here. We're, we're not about a 114 now, 112. It's his left arm. The moment he can get his left arm back through, he'll be able to get away. It's the left arm. Look, see? Now he's free. A minute to go. He's got to go for it. This corner is so animated telling him to go. And for Madison, this is a real learning experience here, right? Like, this is, this is where he really finds out what cardio is like in a grueling fight. But only one level of it because it's a grueling fight where he really hasn't taken too much damage on the feet other than the leg kicks and a couple of good knees in this round. Nice jab from Madsen. All three of them. Oh, he went for it again. Madsen has never felt so uncomfortable in his entire life. All the wrestling, all the fighting to this point, he has never felt like he feels right now. Now you test this fight or flight. Is Mark Madsen going to be able to stand in here and get through this last 20 seconds? Oh, oh no. Big Hubbard. shot by Hubbard. Another knee. Final 10 seconds. Lead elbow from Hubbard. Curtis Blades losing his mind in the corner of Austin Hubbard, who goes the distance with Marco Madsen. Scorecards coming up. Well, pretty entertaining, lightweight fight that as we show you some of the numbers. These unofficial significant strikes, decided advantage, of course, for Austin Hubbard, but hard to ignore the eight takedowns on 12 attempts for the Olympic silver medalist Marco Madsen. The scorecards have been tallied. They reside with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest, 29-28 for the winner by United decision and still undefeated the Olympian 